hurricane, Yo. like I said. We the hurricane. Yo. We bringing it back. Yeah, we just um we're not too long left to school, so the queen made it. Head teacher's not so mad with me now, which is good. Plus I gave him 160 books, which has just dented my pocket totally. So if you wanna give me a donation, anyone out there, for 160 books, please feel free. Assembly was just like talking to the queen. I kinda had to intro her in because like I've done the book on her and stuff like that. Um they had like these children come out straight away and start singing for her. I'm not an emotional person, but something come over me and thought, oh my god, I feel a bit so it's like, nah, this can't happen in here. This is madness, this is. So beautiful as well. And I can see how people get touched by little things like that. So nice. Because the girls could really sing as well. That's the wickedest thing, like. So, I don't know, if you watch the footage, you might see my face looking a bit awkward. It's because um, I just didn't, it, that caught me really. And I think it was really beautiful. So nice to see the children. And everywhere the queen goes, people really take to her. So I'm really, I knew they would have. So I'm just glad that it went well. I'm happy now. Er. And what are we here now for? This brother here. Baby Tommy. What up? What's going on? How was the school? That was nice, man. It was beautiful. Yo, we here in Brome. We got a nice day. The ancestors are shining on us. We the hurricane. That hurricane ain't coming here. We the hurricane. We the hurricane. We're hot. We nah, I don't know about that. We yeah. Ugly no, when I learned in Ghana, you got a week. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, they, they told you. Food. They want your they, food they, yesterday. They, no. they told you. <laughs> <laughs> One Africa. Not, not McDonald's. Not KFC. Yes, we back again. Yes. FBB2 me. Look at the weekend. Yes. FBB2 yes. me. We came to take over. Uh, right? <laughs> right, Andrew? <laughs> we came to take over. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we came to take over. <laughs> Yes. And we take it over with knowledge and yes. wisdom. That's right. Yes. That's right. Power. Right. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Authority. Mm -hmm. right. yes. Got it. Everyone's feeling good this morning, oh, then. Excellent. This afternoon. Hey, so this afternoon, excellent. yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it be here with our people. Right. We could be here on the streets of Brom. Ecker. Yes. 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 Uh, what's the name of your TV? Aston Villa. Oh, yeah. Right. Aston, Aston Villa. Villa. <laughs> Big shout out to Aston Villa. Big shout out to Brom. Big shout out. Big shout out to Birmingham. Bum, you know what I'm saying? Bum, bum. Big shout out to all the Jamaicans in the house. I know y'all here. Yeah. I came to talk to you. Yeah. We the cons. We here. Yes. You on the con. We are here. Y'all back. 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 Y'all I love that. Yeah. My brother is back. Y'all back. Y'all back. Y'all back. Y'all back. Y'all back. Y'all back. Wow. <laughs> oh, now we're going to Leeds now, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to mine to get some books and then yeah. we're going to be hitting them all the way. We, we, we're here with Queen Diambi, mm -hmm. right? Infudishi, Nana Yao, Nova Felder, mm -hmm. aka Nana Asari, That's as right. many the first. we here, Brother Jason Barrett. we here with the pills, right? Coming straight from 125th Street, New York. The red, the red, and, the red and blue pills. Right. In all of the shows that we are one. That's it. One. We're one. We are one. This is Pan Africanism in practice, not Pan Africanism in words. Right. 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 Yes. This, this is work. practical. Yes. This is a real on the field. field. We're yes. doing the job. We We're not talking. The Wazungu have shattered us and spread <laughs> us up, and it's our job to pull us back together. That's yeah. why I came here to show our global connectivity. Last year I came. I was the only black man from America in the event, right? It was beautiful. We loved it. Now look, we multiply. We don't die. We multiply. multiply. King with the family. We multiply. Now, so the family can grow and we can get yes. bigger and stronger, right? The, the time is now. Africa's the past. Africa's the present. And most importantly, Africa is the future. future. <laughs> Boom. That's Dr. Ben. My lecture was on the two nature in, in history. She is the foundation of okay, history. I'm not <laughs> so I had to go back and add two more minutes to that lecture. That's right. Then Dr. Bibb was Let's the first one to stand up and clap the hands. Yeah. Yeah. I said, okay, I'm dying right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Him. <laughs> Dr. Ben will spank you in public. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, that's a good leader right there. We were there. at a lecture at ASCAD in, 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 in Philly. It was cool. And a guy was doing a presentation and he put some information that wasn't correct. Dr. Ben stood up in the middle of a thousand people and said, You are GD live! The whole audience got quiet like that. Dr. Ben said, That's right, and said it again, You are GD live! Go back and correct this. That's right. And the 
guy bow down. Oh, that's y'all! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, man. 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 Yes, She's gonna get us there safe, the, safely. Yeah, Queen, Nina on Queen. behind the video camera. Yes. Killing it. Right? Oh, you didn't mention your name? Yeah, I did. You did? Yeah. 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 I don't know. Because <laughs> it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you didn't hear it, don't mean it didn't happen. Oh, it's <laughs> Yeah, you got me right there. <laughs> You see that Europeans in the Northern Hemisphere call people like him the Skrellings. They're little people. Skrellings. They call them, no. That's the Skrellings. That's what the Norwegians or whatever the Vikings call them. These are the, 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 the when they call about the leprechauns, is these little Africans. <laughs> went, oh, seriously. Where the gold at? Where the gold at? Yeah. They brought the gold. We got the gold. Yeah, we got the gold. The gold. The technology. We're trying to, we're trying to protect so, the gold. But the little short Africans that the white man called the pygmies are really called the Twa. Right? The little people, those are the people that brought civilization. Yeah, they actually, they populated the planet. Yeah, they, they were them. everywhere. They, they brought them. civilization everywhere. They're also called the Anu. Anu. Yeah. So Anu. you see, they're the original people in Japan, yep. Asia, South America, North America, these little short people populated. See, so we have one with us right here. His name is Nana Yao. <laughs> that's why you're strong. Yeah, that's, that's why they're strong. <laughs> Keeping yeah, their spiritual see, energy. Where's the gold? Where's the gold? No, I gotta hide it before you sell you. Yeah, see, before you sell it. me. <laughs> the gold, see? That's him. He got yeah. that. Right? That's why Healy's saying that the planet was populated by the Twa and they came in an aluminous egg on top of Kilimanjaro, that's the right. mountain of the moon. That's right. And go in Uganda, yeah. they say the Twa came from under underground. The ground. Yeah, that's what my grandma yeah, used to say. They say, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they like the they look really when you watch um that film, what's the name? Um The Kings, the one with the with, with the Smeagol with the ring. Uh, Lord, Lord of the, the Rings. Lord of the Ring, yeah. When you watch Lord of the Rings, when they talk about the hobbits, the hobbits that doing all the metal work and the metallurgy and the blacksmithing. The hobbits are representing the twa in right. that film. Yeah, explain to them about this. Uh, the mask. Oh explain. yeah. In the video. Mm. Explain about these masks, why they important. Yeah, this is this is a shanty face. This is passport. Today you're having passport because of this. Yes. Because the Ashanti's created this. The Akans created this matter of fact. So the royals can travel to places that the so-called slave catches can never touch them or cut them because when they see you with this uh, with this symbol on your neck, they know you belong to the Ashanti family. They know you are from a recognized identified kingdom, so they don't mess with you. So out of this, now today everybody has what passport. So you just don't it. Put it on all the time. Like um, Fudishi has his own on. Right, so if there's any Wazungu watching this, yeah. you can't touch this. No. <laughs> <laughs> can't touch this. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Tell them a story about the day when I went to pick it up. Oh, yeah, so this is, uh, that's Asumeni. Asari, Nana Asari, Asumeni. So after the day he had his initiation, we just went to the mat. Is that my yeah? No, I told I told Omar to make me one. No, but you don't know. But I he didn't, didn't know, know. I didn't know what. Yeah, he face. told him to make the face, and but I he didn't did know. My hair. Yes. In the same way. So he went to the salon, did his hair for his ceremony. It's, and then we came. The guy just gave him this, and that was a Zali his face. Yeah, in my hair. Too. And the hairstyle. Wow. Yes. Right so the ancestors really approved him yeah. and gave him his passport. So that's his passport. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, MK Immigration. So when you see this, it's me. Blame go. Let me go, you know what I mean? Blame go. This is it. That's his face right no, there. No, sorry, right there. Yeah, that's his face right there. <laughs> Won't you help me sing? It's all I ever had. Alright, so we're gonna try that. Is that alright? Actually, come give me some help. Come and give me some help. Come and give me some help. I need some help. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, give us some encouragement.
the words. No. All right, all right. All right, all right. It's a classic. I thought everyone knew the words. Avow to the fact that you definitely can sing. Yeah, all right. that, that's true, that's true. <laughs> Go on, say Old pirates, yes, they rabbi. So lied to the merchant ship. Minutes after they took I from the bottomless pit. But our hands were made strong. By the strength of the Almighty. Sounding good. Forward in this generation, triumphantly, won't you help me sing? Mm -hmm. These songs of freedom, it's all I ever had. We have, we have. Song. One more time, we have. Song. Marcus Garvey said. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. Have no fear of atomic energy. Go on, Jesus. None of that can stop the time. All right, give yourself a round of applause. Happy Black History Month, people. All right, so we're going to kick off. We've got some drummers that are going to come through the place. They're going to bless the place. I'm just going to go and get them. Enjoy the drummers. And then... objective is to make you think. It's not to impress you. It's not to forge something down your throat, but just to make you think. Think unlimited. There is nothing you can't do. Think unlimited, think unlimited, think unlimited. What we can do as a people is unlimited if you think that way. A poem is the naked advice of the heart. Malcolm was a poem. Toussaint was a poem. Garvey was a poem, Singer was a poem, and all of you are poems of only you would think. Unlimited. There is nothing you can't do. There is nothing you can't do. We have been scuffling against logic, trying to use logic when that logic makes no sense. We have been scuffling with no money when money is an irrelevant object. Your consciousness is your money. Your thoughts is your money. You are as you thinketh. Think unlimited. There is nothing you can't do. I want you to understand who you are, where you come from. You are the original people on this planet. You are the only original people. Everybody else is a carbon copy. You are the foundation of civilization. You brought math and science and astronomy into existence. Just to try to understand who you are. And we are still grappling with the power that we have. We still don't understand the power that we possess. Whatever we put our minds to, we are the best. We have been like a magnificent crystal. And someone dropped the crystal. And the crystal spread it all around the planet. And we are here now to put these pieces back together so that you can really see our glow. And that's what part of a program like this would be about. That's what a Black History Month is about. That is what awareness is about. That's what a Black Activity Book is about. It's about putting those pieces back together so that our children will know who we are. The rabbit would not go to the fox to understand his story. Or he would be rabbit stew. <laughs> and brothers and sisters, we have been rabbit stew for the Western world. They need our resources. At one time, they needed our skills. They needed our labor. But guess what? They no longer really need that. But they still need our resources. Because you didn't have any say-so of where your own vessel was going. You need to take the helm of your own ship. 
And when you're the captain of your ship, and he's the captain of your ship, and she's the captain, then we come together and we form a fleet. And the fleet is extremely powerful, brothers and sisters. That's what we need to be doing. Two questions that you need to just put in front of you, no matter what you do. Is it life-giving or life-threatening? That's not complicated. Just, just make it real simple. Everything you do, life-giving, life-threatening. Get ready to go to school. Is that school a life-giving or life-threatening? Is it designed to make you a robot? Is it designed just to educate you to be a job, to get a job? And the word job means just over broke. <laughs> And in some places, it means having a jackass of a boss. And if you got both of them, you're in real trouble. <laughs> Modern day news, television, try to tell you that the ancient Egyptians were white. So now, if this is the king that unified Upper and Lower Kemet, how do you explain that? Well, some people say he was a black white man. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, this is an emergency. In case of an emergency, what do they tell you? Life, oxygen mask will fall down, and you put what? Your mask on first before you help anybody else. Brothers and sisters, knowing your history, knowing your culture, knowing who you are, being the captain of your ship is important. Thank you very much. later um, but just for some entertainment purposes and to celebrate the carnival connection run Sean my selector <laughs> And libation is, is, a, is a symbol. I want to explain for people who don't know why we do the libation. First of all, uh, as you can see, we have a civil water, which is a symbol of life, because everything comes from, from, comes from life. It, you know, we can explain a little more. But also, it's also a symbol of purity. We can purify, we can wash away things. And when things have been unclean, we can clean them. Whatever the, the hardship, whatever the difficulty, water always overcome. Water is always uh, uh, good to find a way you know, to, to circumvent difficulty. So in Lingala, briefly, just to say what I have explained, and then the peace will continue. Natombolio, nzambe, mukolo nzambe, likolo. Natombolio, awa tozali iso awa ndeko, bana nyonsu ya mboka ya mokili mbimba. Bana Afrika, bana ya Porto, bana ya Azia, bana ya Amerika, tozali iso nyonsu awa, poto tombo ya yo nzambe. Natombolio nzambe, pakoko ya batu nyonsu bazali awa lelo. Haru was higher consciousness. 
may this libation raise our spiritual consciousness and our connection to our people. But the ancestors are satisfied. Amen. In the Brooklyn Museum, and we went to the Egypt area, and all of the other people that had their tour guides basically wanted to fire their tour guide because when they heard Professor Infodici, he speaks Meduneta, he can read the hieroglyphs. So he's looking at the things on the wall and he's telling us what it says. And you can see people like, no, I need to be with this guy. <laughs> the room's heavy right now. The room's heavy right now. Professor Infodici, next up to back. The more I learn about myself, the more passion I'm able to get for both myself and my people. You know, the culture is infinite. So some of my greatest uh, role models, they made transition on their feet, meaning that they were doing it to the last day. So when I see the example that they laid out and I know that they, I know that I witness history, you know, it, it just pushes me further because this is not an easy road. This is not an easy climb, but it is it's spiritually rewarding um, it's legacy building and it's the right thing to do. I think many of us in our generation have exhausted all of the options and there's no other options left but to put on for our people. So that's that's why I keep going. It's really important that you find something that is your purpose, something that if you did not do it, you would not feel satisfied. I remember when I started the journey of leaving corporate and going into financial literacy and teaching it to youth and adults now, I wanted to write this book and I had this longing in my spirit. And for almost a year, because I went to a few people that I thought were, you know, who I respected their opinion and I said, should I do this? And a few people were like, hmm, ah, mixed feedback. And for almost a year, I pushed back writing the book. And in that time process, I just started feeling like I'm gonna be that old person who's like shoulda, coulda, woulda. And I had this longing in my spirit that just felt heavy. I just felt depressed almost, because I didn't really know why I felt depressed, but I knew there was something I was not fulfilling and doing, right? And then when I started the journey, things just started to align. I'm not saying that there weren't difficult moments, but those difficult moments just actually propelled me closer towards what I wanted, because it made me know, well, if the universe is pushing back, there must be something to push against, yeah? And then as big doors open, bigger doors are starting to open even above that. Find what it is that you're passionate about, something that you would do for free. Not that you would have to do it for free, but maybe on that journey you might have to do it for two seconds for free. But if you're not willing to do it for free for two seconds, then maybe that's not your truly a passion. Because anything you're truly passionate about, even coming out here to speak, if we're not getting paid to come out here, but we love the people, we love what we have to, the message we have to put out there, we'll be here no matter what. Power is you, but do you have the brevity? Do you have the mentality to take the authority to be the captain of your own ship? That is the question. Once you find that, whether it's through your work, whether it's through your passion, it becomes easy because it is your nature, not second nature. You will never leave your child hungry. You would never leave your elders wanting for anything. So that means that the same thing you would want for you for them, you should do for yourself. So the passion is automatic. You don't even think about it, young man, right? I'm not gonna give my age, cause I'm not up there like <laughs> this brother, but we, we've been around. And trust me, it becomes easier and easier every step of the way. Know thyself and you will know your path and it'll be easy. But what I would say to you is, is um, it is an uphill struggle and maybe it's because of the surroundings we're in and it does drain you, I'll be honest. And if we're not strong enough and if we don't plug into the energies that are right, that is around us, because sometimes we are moving with people that are rubbing against us and that's what drains you. It's not, that, it's not your mission and it's not your purpose that drains you, it's the energy that surrounds you. Look and see who's surrounding you and if they're not with you and if they're not the same mindset, drop them. It's love because you first love you. Because if you don't love you, nobody will love you. If you don't encourage you, nobody will encourage you. If you don't make you happy, nobody can on this earth can make you happy. Before people say, I'm going to the entertainment center to get myself entertained. No, you started entertaining yourself before you even get there. So the church starts from you. 
you start the church right here before you go to that temple or that building. Yes, because you just go there to complement, to add your energy to already what is there. When you start putting yourself down, then everybody will put you down. When you start lifting yourself up, then you see yourself that everybody, because that's the energy you plug in. So everybody will see you in that energy. So don't give down. We're here. That's why we're here today. My, I was feeling very bad. I was supposed to stay in New York, but I'm like, I'm coming. Yes, I have to come. I have to be here. Anytime that I feel myself, you know, almost spent, I look in the eyes of children, and I'm not willing to capitulate because of that. Um, mainly because I, you know, when you when you when you listen to the, the narratives of grown people who have, who have gone astray, they often talk about they were impressionable as children, and that's when they saw the drug dealer with the shiny rims. You know, there was something that happened when they were children that impressed upon them that they needed something that they didn't have that they didn't necessarily need. You know what I'm saying? Just based on the optics of what it was that attracted them at the moment. And they was willing to give their life to that thing. You know what I'm saying? I always make sure that, you know, when we're amongst children, that we're competing for their attention. We're competing for that, that level of imagery that imprints upon them something that they want to grow up to be, you know? So the eyes of children are always the thing that pulls me back into purpose. And on my quest of knowing thyself, um, one of my character traits is service. You know, that's one of my imprints. So when I do things for people and it is gratifying, it gratifies me. You know, this is not me necessarily looking outside of myself for validation. It's me fulfilling my purpose and my purpose is service.
Love is the energy that made creation possible. Love is the energy that makes us manifest it. Every single thing. I didn't know this before. I thought it was just, you know, the romance and the Valentine days and all these stuff. And of course, love your kids, love your parents, all that stuff. But it was not, I didn't know it was an energy. And when you ask at the beginning and all the elders and the king already answered and said, yeah, how do you keep on? It's love. On my own, I couldn't do the work I do. I also was just like most of you, in the darkness, because I didn't know any better. I grew up in Kinshasa. In Kinshasa, if you know the story of Congo a little bit, if you don't, I'm gonna refresh your mind or, or inform you. It was really a brutal history for a minute. Congo has been there for millions of years, but for about a minute, it has been very, very difficult. You know, we had, first of all, the definite the enslavement of our people, the capture of about four million people from the bastion of Congo itself to be humiliated and, 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 and all kinds of things. But on the other hand, we also have all the families that were broken down, left barren, missing children, missing fathers, missing mothers, missing, missing, broken, had to run away. People don't even know how Africa looked back then. It was not like we just stood there and waited. Oh, we're here. Just come and touch us. You know, we fought for every single one. Ten died on the ground. How do we make it in this reality that's so rough? Do we forget? Do we forgive? How we move on when it's steep? Thanks to elders like Professor Small, Dr. Jeffries, Ben Yoakanan. Shekanta Diop and many more that I cannot even name, Clark and so forth. So many. I was born into the light. Growing up in Congo, brutal. After that, three million gone, four million gone, then colonization comes. Twelve million dead then. Brutally murdered because of the exploitation of, of rubber and ivory. Congo is given to a person. King Leopold II, cousin of uh, you know the crown of uh, of England at the time, and realizing that it was really a great um, asset because we had rubber and it was the, the time of the tires. Now the, the, the automobile exploded and we needed tires. And Congo had forests full of rubber trees, so Congo becomes wow. But none of the Congolese who already had beaten down, who had already had been beaten down with enslavement, trying to reorganize and restructure their societies as best as they could, now comes again the colonizer and the exploiter. With that, many atrocities. What is important to do is when we are together as a family, we have to celebrate the fact that we are together, all of us. But we have to talk. We have to reconcile our identity. You have to know what happened to me, and I have to know what happened to you, because I hold half of your story, <laughs> and you hold half of mine. So what integrity do I have if I don't listen? So what happened to you? What went wrong for you to decide that the only way you could make it is by destroying others? And by striving to see the pain and suffering of others, so just you can have a house, a bigger one. No, 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 no. And something deep is happening. Something deep happened to you. Who scared the bejee out of you for you to have changed so much that you have lost your humanity? If I have, um, if a, a couple comes to the, or a woman comes to the doctor's office and she says, oh, I have a, some problem, and can you check me? The gynecologist checks her and says, oh, you have uh, some ST. Oh, where does that come from? I'm not faithful and what's going on? Why? 
well, you know, maybe you have a partner. And, and, okay, so if they give the woman only the medication and she fix herself, but nothing changes in the behavior of her partner, do you think that in 15 days she won't be back into that office? It would, she will be back and the thing will propagate itself and continue to propagate. So you have to cure the couple. You have to cure the one who has been the victim, but you also have to work with the perpetrator. How? That's the question. So this is what I find out when I find out the riches of my African culture, which is really the foundation for most culture because we are the elders of the human race. We are also the civilization builders. We build civilization all throughout the planet. We built the we started the kickoff of the civilization in the West, in Greece, because they came to Africa and got a lot of information. When they couldn't handle it anymore and crashed into the Roman Empire, crashed, the Moors came back and uh, CPR to Europe again. And again, Europe kicked off again. Fine, that's what we are supposed to do. But don't bite my hand after that. Africa is the energy. Africa is not a, a place. You know, people think, oh, it's only the black people. I said, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, it's the black people. But where did the other one come from? My pale baby, I call them. My angry pale baby. <laughs> why angry? Why angry? I say, why I say angry? Because maybe they couldn't play it in the sun like everybody else. <laughs> Sometimes you are angry, you don't even know the reason why. But we have to find out, we ought to find out. And more and more are coming on board because this civilizational proposal has come to an end for everyone. We are just one, having the illusion of being many. And we are one. And if we think we're gonna make it, one makes it, the other one doesn't, it's not going to work. Now, for my African brothers, melanated Africans, who have been, like I call, the elders of humanity, we have been to a very, very traumatic experience indeed. We are not the only one. Because when I study history of Europe, I must say, because I have Europe, my mother is European, and of course that's the only history we study in Congo as well, because my ancestors were Romans. Wow! They, all they did was beat each other up. For centuries and centuries, they had wars that lasted a hundred years. These people, they're gonna watch my back. I can turn my back now and know that you're going to watch my back. Are you going to watch my back? This is how it works. And it takes courage, because it takes courage to trust that I'm, that's it, I'm doing it. I have no guarantee, no guarantee that I can change the world. I can change me. That I know. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our next door, there is a room that we can operate in where you can meet the guys. They've got vending. Please buy something, purchase, spend some money with the guys. Time guys, they're trying to get us out of the building. This is why we need to own our own spaces. This is called the Mandela Center and they're running us out of the team, so.
Tired, <laughs> but I am very, very pleased because you did a good job. Man. A great good job. You did a good, good job, job man. A good warm up, man. Good, good job. Good boom, boom, boom. boom. Great. boom. We the hurricane, Yo. like I said. We the hurricane. Yo. We bringing it back. After leaving Jason's event in Leeds, me and Andrew took it in turn to drive back to Birmingham, straight into Bingley Hall, where we had to set up for his event the next day. Everybody was so tired, however, it was a great team effort. You ready for tomorrow? Ready to prepare for tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. Feeling, Andrew? I only got two hours sleep last night. And today's been a long day. Yeah, it's like what three o'clock now. And I've got to get up to the rest of the seven thirty. Really mad, but it's coming together like a whole kind of little leaf. Oh. 